Old Zionsville and took the lives of 31-year-old Katie Gill, who, by the way, uh, had her 31st birthday just today. Uh, she, along with her son, Raymond Gill, also killed. This all came to our attention uh, just before 9 o'clock this morning. And the Boone County Sheriff just had a press conference uh, outside that home. We want to get up to Alexis McAdams, who was at that press conference. Alexis, can you give us uh, get us up to speed on what he said? Well, yeah, they're very happy that they were able to find Lucius Oliver Hamilton III, although he was took his own life before they're able to take him into custody at that downtown hotel. But this crime scene has been active all day since around 8 a.m. Like you said, when a neighbor called in after she found the mother and her young son, young son at this home in Zionsville. Now police telling us that this scene is still active. The investigation is still ongoing. You can see lots of police cars here near the home as they continue to investigate. And family members have also been coming in and out of the home today. Going back to this now crime scene they used to call home. Police spent the day searching for 61 year old Lucius Oliver Hamilton III, who allegedly murdered his niece and her young son early this morning. I will not stop until I find you. Police say Lucius, armed with a gun, came to this Zionsville home around 8 a.m. and shot and killed his 31 year old niece. Katie Hamilton Gill and her four year old son Raymond. The mother was found just inside the front door and uh, the son was found in the uh, in the living room. A neighbor found the mother and son and quickly called police. In my 32 years in law enforcement, I have never witnessed a crime so heinous and heartbreaking. Family members have been coming and going from the home all day, the entire neighborhood heartbroken and in shock that the preschooler and his mom, who were so full of life and love, are now gone. I've been sick to my stomach since I heard this was even all going on. It just the whole thing is just heart wrenching and so scary. Police won't say what Lucius's motive was, but family members tell Fox 59 today was Katie Gill's birthday. They had just spoken with her on the phone before finding out this horrific news. Now federal agents, including members of the FBI and U.S. Marshals, are working with state and local police agencies searching for Lucius Hamilton III. We do have him tracked down and we do feel very confident that he's the one in that room. And once again, the sheriff actually telling us earlier that he's never seen anything like this so gruesome in his career here as a law enforcement officer in this area. So everyone in the neighborhood, all the law enforcement officials and the family is just devastated today that they lost these two family members, especially Katie on her birthday. We'll continue to keep you updated with all of the latest breaking details on air and online. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Alexis. So that's